What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Williams, and today I got something special. I have bought me a boat. It, it's definitely a picker-upper, but it's my boat. I've never owned a boat, and none of my family that I know of has ever owned a boat. So this is a big thing for me. Um, so let me go ahead and give you an oversight of what it looks like, and um, let's get started. All right. All right. So... I got a Skeeter Hawk, and it's, uh, I think it's a, a 78, I'm not sure. And it came with the Mariner 60, um, I mean 60 horsepower. And so I'm going to be doing some much needed maintenance on it. Much, much needed maintenance. I'm over at my dad's house, you know, P.O.P., holding it down. Pops, I love you. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm here early in the morning. There's still dew on the boat. And so what I'm planning on doing is taking uh, all the cushions off. And as you can see, there's some torn damage. I've already taken some of the carpet out. I'm going to take the rest out. And I'm going to take all this other stuff down. I'm going to see if uh, this is going to be running. This is, this is one thing I got to do. Uh, we're going to be rewiring the whole boat trying to think what else we're going to be doing uh i can't think of anything else but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and i'm gonna bring you on my journey see you in a second all right so <clears throat> the first thing i'm doing is taking these cushions off i've already taken the first two off yo this was hell getting them off all the pieces were rusted all the all the pieces were rusted. These are the these were the bolts that came out of it, and some of them were I think it was welded on, but it doesn't matter. I got them all. Yo, I don't think I'll do that again. I hope I don't have to do that again. So I think I'm going I'm gonna have someone come in here again, get these holes patched. I mean, they're soft. I can step on them soft. I mean. It's all good, but it's just, it's not, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. But, check it out. It rotates. I don't want to turn it on without anything, of fun, uh, without water running through. But I'm going to have to check the motor, see how that goes. I'm going to do all this. I'm just reiterating what I said earlier. Uh, so, I, I'm, I'm going to have to move this and straighten all this up so I can go ahead and um get the fabric out from up under it and I'm, I'm excited yo i'm just excited i already got the first part done now it's on to the second all right so i got the carpet out check this out this is what it looks like right now i got the uh i got the uh, seats off i have all the cables off I have everything opened up. So my next thing I'm going to be doing is clean, putting water in here, just wetting this whole thing down, trying to get all this um, leaves. I'm trying to get it down to this little area so I can just grab it and pull it out myself. Uh, trying to think, um, get over here, get over here. I'm gonna make sure all these wires are not touching the ground though even though they're not connected to anything i'm still trying to be as careful as possible but overall i think i'm doing a damn good job damn damn good job i've made a lot of headway trying not to get all that shit in the hole but Sometimes it happens. It happens, I don't mean for it to happen. With all that stuff that's up under here. Yeah, use what you have, right? 
Make sure I get up under the. Oh, I'm not sure what you would call that. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know much about uh, boats itself. What I do know is I should be able to get everything wet. Well, all the things that are not exposed anyway. But yeah, so I mean, I'm excited. I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm just too excited. All right, when I get finished, I'll hit you up. All right, so I think I'm at a stopping point today. Uh, I've cleaned out there. Clean, well, I can't really get in here. Well, I can't really clean it out. I can't drain the water. I gotta figure out how to do that. Um, clean up up there. My fiance, who likes messing with wires, is going to rewire this whole boat. That's the plan anyway. Uh, she doesn't like how all this sticks down, which is understood. I don't like how it sticks down either. Uh, I've taken everything off of the batteries. Let me jump over this water because it's still kind of draining. Um, I took the tank off. Um, I have not checked the motor itself just yet because what I need to get this is, uh, is these things called muffs. That will go on here. Let me see, right there. Sorry, uh, right there. And it will shoot water inside as it's uh, turned on and it will help clean the whole thing, the whole uh, inside of the motor itself. Um, Cause I'm not sure how everything is so far on the inside, if it's clean or not. And so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna drain it out. I believe there's two nuts that I need to mess with. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about boats. I'm just doing this all off of YouTube. Everything I'm doing, I've learned off YouTube. What I do know is this, uh, is these wires are long ass crap. It's, it, it's unnecessarily long because the motor's here and the uh, controls are there. And, so, and then I have the, I can't remember what kind of motor that is. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Basically, it help. I mean, it pushes you slowly to where you're going to go. And I'm trying to think, trying to think. What else? Um, well, I mean, at this moment, I'm going to stop here. Like I said, I'm going to have some, I'm going to pay someone because we have some boat uh, repair shops to fix this, this, and I believe the under, under it because if there's water damage up here, there's water damage under. I think I've got a quote for about $400 and which is more than I wanted to spend, but... It's going, I mean, I guess it's worth it. Well, I say I guess. It's worth it. And then, once it's all said and done, I'm going to take this piece off. Um, I, I'm not even sure. I think that's supposed to be the, uh, the license plate. Uh, that's going to be taken off once I get it registered and stuff like that. And, and then I'm going to paint it. Oh, yeah. So, my fiance says she wanted black and yellow. I'm not sure. If she gets black and yellow, I get to name the damn boat. Sorry, babe. I'm going to name it. I haven't decided what I'm going to name it yet, but I'm going to. Matter of fact, I want y'all's help. Just send in the comment section below what y'all would name your boat and what I should name my boat. All right. I appreciate it. I want to like y'all to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And yo, peace. Love chicken grease.